just as you can find a new adventure and a new love after your first marriage, so can you find a new life in a foreign land. For me, for now, it's South America. My name is Lauren Lau, and this is my adventure in Grand Colombia. Hope everyone's having a great Sunday. Today I want to mention a milestone, a big marker in this channel, and congratulate everybody that's helped with this. We well, went over half a million views last week. Now I realize that there's a lot of YouTubers that'll get half a million views in the first day of their video. And for me, it's taken over three years to get to half a million views, but nonetheless, it's an important moment for me, and I really appreciate everybody that's uh, helped with that. Now today, I've got bits and pieces of things that I found a little interesting. Uh, so I just want to relax today on Sunday and show you a few things as we went along. Now, one is this crazy cup thing. Anything with an English is popular even if it's not really appropriate. And in this cup, I'm in a cafe and they went out and got some new cups and obviously they got some kind of discount. And so you've got back to school cups in a regular cafe, but you know, what the heck, nobody knows what it says. So, you know, they just have, but the funny thing is they don't really even fit into the saucer. But I just kind of found it amusing. One of these days, I'm going to get somebody to tag along with me and start taking pictures of t-shirts because some are just hilarious. You see so many people, females in particular, wearing these t-shirts with words on them. And there'll be phrases a lot of them we're familiar with. You know, you'll have Nike just do it, for example. But you'll also have t-shirts that are really inappropriate to be out in public and they're hilarious and you know I won't even say the words but you know I want to take some video or photos of this because it just cracks me up pretty much anytime I go out walking and I haven't because you really need to stop somebody and ask their permission recently I've been kind of dating and you know hopefully at some point I'll find myself a girlfriend but there's this one that I have been seeing for about a month, maybe five weeks. And I won't really say she's a girlfriend, but we see each other fairly regularly. There's a few things that, you know, drive me crazy. But then again, everybody drives me crazy. I'm, I'm not the best person to be around. But I, I have a short clip just to show you uh, who I'm seeing. And then there's another thing between my house and uh, Unicentral Mall, about halfway, uh, where that bridge is that shows the restaurant and the bar underneath the bridge. There's a, I guess you would say it's a commercial central, a kind of a mall, but it's kind of fascinating. It's, it's all a ramp work that winds its way up and there's all these little tiendas, little stores along the way in this thing. It's very interesting. It's got a lot of good things there. But it's it's a good place to go, particularly if you're looking for anything electronic, anything to do with your cell phone. Now you notice that I took, uh, I put in here some snapshots of various sunsets. I just, it's it's a beautiful thing right off my balcony. And last thing is Mokawa. I get so many questions about Mokawa. And one thing I want to explain, it's not just a hotel. It's really a complex. It's got a very nice, fancy restaurant. On some days has a upscale buffet. It's got apartments. There's a couple towers that are apartment buildings. And you've got the hotel. You also have all these floor spaces for a mall. And they're working on signing leases now. They just signed one for this huge national exercise chain. I saw this particular company in Manizales. It was gigantic. So they've signed that. 
It's supposed to ultimately become an outlet mall. So I think that's kind of interesting. But there's all kinds of things that go on there. And it's a number of buildings, a number of towers that take up almost the city block. Uh, it has uh, big underground parking. So it's not just a hotel. Mokawa is actually a landmark here. It's, there's not a single person I've ever met that doesn't understand where Mokawa is, which is kind of handy if you're like me and you live right next to it. I'm in a building right next, uh, right across the street from it. And so, you know, getting a taxi or giving people instructions on how to get to your house makes it rather simple. So that's it for today. Um, again, I hope you have a great Sunday. If you find this channel useful, please consider contributing, and I will see you in a couple days.